Deepavali Nal Valtukal, happy Deepavali. We come to you from the home of the Murtis in Chennai who celebrate Deepavali in a very traditional way. Their children are in the U.S. but they've got interesting friends and family friends visiting them. They also have a range of homemade traditional delicacies prepared specially for this. And what you see here is the Deepavali Lakeum, something which will help fight indigestion if required. And thank you all very much for your time. Happy Deepavali. Murthy, how did the day begin? What's the plan? Well, actually, the day normally begins with the traditional oil bath, which has been, my wife was very, she knows she's quite a traditional woman. And uh, we had a bath, and after that, invited some friends for a gathering, because we lost, we missed this fun the last two years because of the COVID pandemic. I thought, let's catch up from now on. Hopefully, everybody will have a good time from this year onwards. And uh, so that's how the entire thing was done. And we have my friends coming here. Kamlam, you took time for traditional delicacies homemade yes i did follow a few of my grandmom's heirloom recipes this time and a lot of my friends have also shared their uh, makings this year and it's in quite interesting that even the new generation they want to start making sweets the traditional way and that was something very interesting to know this year silk sari silk saris is always a tradition and a favorite for people and this time we've got some Amazing Chatinad, new prints for the Chola collection, thanks to Pony and Selvan. And you're remotely celebrating Deepavali with your sons in the US? Yes. Uh, we've asked them to pick up new shirts mm -hmm. and also call their friends over and uh, enjoy as much as possible. Of course, I miss them a lot, but we would do the video calls and stuff like that, yeah. Manasmini, you love films and what's the plan to catch up with those new releases? Yes, I love shopping, I love films. <laughs> so the new releases in the market also interest me a lot. Uh, new saris and, uh, and new films, yes, I'm planning to watch Sardar. Uh, and we miss the children too. Three films, Pony and Selvan, Sardar Pony and uh, Selvan Prince. we've already watched. Right. Uh, Sardar and Prince are the new releases which right. I'm looking forward right. to. Right. Yes, for the one. What does Deepavali mean for you, Kritivas? Um, Deepavali means basically festival of light, which means it's uh, brightness and radiance, uh, which would otherwise mean that we, we really have to celebrate. That's the only Hindu festival where we declare and say it's a festival. Right. The rest of them are all actually it's religious and a lot of rituals. This is the one where we go and share our happiness with our family, with our, I mean, our clan, I would say. So we go down and meet all of them, exchange, you know, sweets, exchange various, uh, uh, you know, happiness. And we hope that the same thing would continue for the rest of the year. And uh, we look forward to a great uh, Diwali. But the only thing which I really miss is basically burning crackers. <laughs> this year has been subdued. The fact is that I think we must kickstart that again and make it really big. Okay, irrespective of is that. Is there an awareness in terms of air pollution by crackers? No, but then there are so many things one can say. You know, it's not just about crackers. For air pollution, there are so many things which we can look into. One day of celebration is not going to destroy the, I mean, the world. That's what I'm trying to say. So we must kickstart and celebrate Diwali the way in which we used to. And I look forward to from next year. And this Diwali is also special because this is the first near normal Diwali amid the pandemic with me, Ranjani, who loves music. Oh, yes, I do. And happy Diwali at the outset. And uh, for me, truly, truly, I believe that Dipavali is the festival of hope. I really believe that uh, light will dispel the darkness, mm -hmm. that hope is around the corner, good times around the corner. And uh, with the season getting, with the weather getting a little better, with the uh, music season around the corner, it's going to be fun, fun all the way. Great food, great fun, and uh, great hope, right. most importantly. Thank you. And Malcolm, visiting from the U.S., uh, how do you find Deepavali here? Uh, it's very nice. Uh, happy Diwali to everybody in India. Thank you. And any message? Thank you. It's a long Deepavali vacation of sorts with the government declaring holiday for schools and colleges till Tuesday. And with new film releases, it's a kind of a special Deepavali celebration amid the pandemic with very, very less restrictions. In Chennai, with Edwin, Sam Daniel, Finally TV.